up everyone that is like my attire <laughs> it's my my Christmas jammies you know Thanksgiving's over the day of being thankful for family and and all that we have and this year I am super grateful for all of my family and all of my loved ones and that I'm still alive and still breathing. So, I, we had a great day on Thursday. Nice fun day. <laughs> to go to Gary Old. Um, I came out this morning and I'm looking at all of my, uh, everything that I have growing right now. And I think it might be time for most of them to get taken out. Uh, because I came out and um, things look a little soggy so look at this oh hold on say hello to the girls hey girls hi So, I don't know if you can see, but my leaves on all of my plants kind of look a little soggy, I guess you could say. Um, I don't know if like the, yeah, because they're not, they're, they look really soggy. I mean, I still have, you know looks like a bunch more tomatoes are going to be coming through but I've never seen this before because the leaves just look you know soggy and it's not just on my tomatoes it is in my basil you see And it wasn't like this yesterday when it came out. Obviously, we didn't use that celery for Thanksgiving. So, and it's looking like it's still growing wild. Look, uh, my sunflowers are the only ones that actually look great. I'm gonna step in here actually. Okay, so. The ground is really, really wet right now. Poor green beans or cucumbers. They didn't even have a chance. Okay. <sighs> Note to self. Cucumbers don't like this spot here. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, so look at this. See that? Soggy. And look, you can actually see you can see through it. You almost you see my hand. Same with these. Like really there we go, okay. Really just like soggy looking and everything all of it I think I need to get some like mulch and put down um, just to cover it the ground is really cold so I'm thinking the cold last night got to them hopefully they will bounce back if not, then that is going to suck. Yeah. Look at that. I might oh, let me just toss that blue tarp. I might go grab the blue tarp out of the the trash can 
and put it on top of these on this bed. Oh look! You see? Right there. That's cool. A little squelch. It's a little squelch. There's one more right there. Mm -hmm. It's so cool to see the different types of um, squash plants like pumpkins are the you know part of the squash family and everything and it's it's cool to see how different they grow but yeah I think the thing to do is grab my tarp oops sorry grab my tarp and put them on top of there and that way, like, I guess the sunflowers are fine, but I guess that way things will be okay, hopefully. Yeah, so, see? Soggy, too. I'm thinking that a little baby pumpkin still hanging on. It might, the temperatures might have dropped last night. So... That's probably why, because when I came out yesterday, it, they didn't look like that. And now they look like this. Hey. <laughs> My sage. Sage is fine. I do need to trim it though. I know I've said that a couple videos ago. I don't know what's happening with this rosemary. I don't know. This one's not doing very well. But this one is doing great. Look. Yeah, I... I'm going to make sure that I don't water them. All of my plants. Hold on. So I, I'm going to make sure that I don't water these. Oh man. Um, cause the ground is really cold and it's wet and I don't want them to, <clears throat> there, I don't, I don't want them to continue to be soggy. So hopefully it warms up and my back my phone's gonna die in 10 got 10 percent left but I wanted to come out real quick and do this video and and show what was going on uh, I've never had this happen before so <laughs> we're gonna keep an eye on it yeah see even my ochre leaves look at that I think it just got too cold. Yeah, everything just got too cold. My bell pepper plant looks good though. Look, you can't. Can you see that? The leaves on this one look fine. This one's still growing pretty well. Still need to get a stake for it though and keep it up. We shall see. We shall see. Um, but yeah, that is ugh, trying to get the sun out of there. But yeah, that's it. Um, I think this things are coming to an end in the garden. So we will keep an eye on everything and see how, like, maybe it, it's gonna warm up a little bit later today. And I'll keep an eye on it once I come back out later on. But I might be at that point where things got to get ripped out. And we're going to put the um, cover crops in. And I'll probably go get some, um, some hay or something. But 
Alrighty, before my phone dies. Just want to say, hope you enjoyed this video. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay. So we figured out what's going on. The temperature last night was in the 30s. Um, and so that's why all of my vegetables and their stems look meh. So that is what happened. Um, it's going to be in the seven. It's going to be 77 today, and then tomorrow gets into the 80s. So I don't know if I still want to um, rip them out or if I should just get um, a cover to put over them so that they're not in the cold like that. So I will have to talk with Brian about that and see what he thinks we should do, or if I should just go get some. Um, some mulch just to cover the base um, the stem so that way it, it will protect the uh, the leaves and uh, everything that's growing but yeah that is that is what happened <laughs> that is why my my things look soggy and um, yeah we're gonna have to figure that out get something to keep them nice and warm so that they're not um, they're not um, gonna get shocked the way that they did like that so hopefully today they will warm up and get some life back into them and then um, I don't know what I'm gonna do for the tomatoes the squash and nasturtiums that'd be easy to cover but as far as like the tomatoes that are up against the fence, I have no idea what I'm going to do with that. Um, I'll have to look that up and see what to do. But it might be time to rip them out. Uh, I don't know. They're still producing fruit, so we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. But. <sighs> Alright, that's it. Peace out. Bye.